Right, my name is Sunday. The vote for minimum wage of nine euros per hour for workers in Italy has been postponed. The Italian government, the Meloni government, they don't postpone now. They suppose vote on it. Possibly, maybe they may accept it, although they say they're not going to accept it. But the vote that at least they suppose debate them and vote on it, so we will know what they stand for. Whether they want to make a nine euros because workers are really suffering. There are people that are really suffering. They receive one euro, two euro, four euro per hour. Especially, they say, especially those ones when they the certain part of Italy. There's another new survey, another new survey that also came out. They say almost or above three million. More than 3 million people, they receive money when they below 9 euro. Meaning that they receive maybe 4 euro per hour, 5, 3 million people in Italy, the whole of Italy. That is what they stated. So the vote, when they suppose votes concerning this thing to make a law so that all workers could they receive from 9 euro, they go up. That when you start work, any fabrica, anywhere, when you for start work, whether farm work, hotel, wherever, if to say they vote, to say they accept them. Anyway, when they for start work or you forget contract before, your money will start from nine euros per hour, according to the law before, as other countries still do their own. But though Italian government, they have stated in their mind or they have spoken it before that they're not going to support them. But the votes, at least people see them on paper, they postpone now. When they want to reopen now, when they want to vote on it, nobody know yet. According to the new survey, it says, according to the latest estimate by Swimmers, there are 3 million employees who currently have less than 9 euros per hour. 3 million workers in Italy when they receive below 9 euros per hour. They said, and about a million in the south, in the southern part of Italy, about a million. Those people, maybe people when they do agricultural work, those people they do maybe one work or the other that they receive below of which some they receive four euros, five euros, six euros, even three euros fifty cents per hour. And at the end of it, how much be salary? Six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred. The votes now that they were supposed to vote, they don't say postpone now. When they want to reopen and nobody know. This is what the vice prime minister said. Melo did not be prime minister. The vice prime minister next said this one. He said, Tijani, which is the vice prime minister, he says, we don't need a minimum wage because we are not the Soviet Union. He said they don't need minimum wage, meaning Italy don't need that. So maybe they just do work as anyhow. Three euros per hour, two euros per hour, anything when they want, do anything when they like when they do work as. Anything when they like when they do work as. He said they don't need it because for backyard, all those companies, all those boss, all those couple, go they settle all these big, big politicians. That is it. Even some of them won't get companies. Some of them won't get one place or they where they, they will employ people. So because they don't say if they put minimum wage, maybe from so so and so and mass, it go even affect them. They, they benefit from all these people when they collect people, when they put people for work. They, they benefit from them. That is the reason. You say Italy or then they say they don't need minimum wage. But according to Instat, what they said is that if they put them for minimum wage, it go help people when they under poverty line. There are people that they work, but they are on that poverty line. That is it. At least go see help those people who they receive six hundred because they they pay maybe four euro per hour. They pay that person nine euro per hour. You go the money go almost times two. You can they receive one thousand two, one thousand three, one thousand six. But they say no, they don't want to do that. I like the comments or the response where another politician responded to this. My says that according to Carlo, the politician, he says what the foreign minister said. On the minimum wage is an imbecility, which means waiting talk na mumu talk the man na mumu because you know you know if to say get brain for not talk like that, if Tijani get brain, he say for not talk like that. He say because na mumu the words or whatever thing we do na imbecility word. So the guy na mumu na all day according to na waiting maybe that that imbecility waiting maybe say na all day na mumu you understand so. It demonstrates that it does not know fundamental data. It does not know fundamental data. What was the data? The data that G7, the member of Jesus, the member of G7, all other countries when they G7, all of them, other people, they already get the minimum wage in law. So it's not has came in. Does that mean that US when they already passed minimum wage into law, whether now Russia or now USSR, that has came in. 
What about other G7 member, USA, Canada, Germany, United Kingdom, Japan, all these people, they don't already pass sign to law. Not only Italy never pass sign to law. That is it. So according to what he stated, he said the guy now are dead because it will not be all dead. For no say minimum wage for the beneficiary to workers. Go help workers boards. If minimum wage is not there, go the beneficiary to all those boss, all those cap, all those companies. And all those companies that they from backyard go to pay them. That is it. Corruption everywhere, just like our place all from come. That is it. So this is what is happening. The vote when they suppose vote regarding this minimum wage of the nine euro per hour for workers in Italy. They don't postpone now. So let's open and see how or when they want to do it again. Thank you and God bless you. Bye.